you see these signs? It says danger. If I see these signs, I don't even read it. It makes me too scared. Uh oh, that's not going in. Why is it not going in? I'm so impressed to see you using a ruler. Screws, scalpel. I need to be careful. I don't want to screw this up. Philip, it doesn't look straight. No, 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 it is straight. You don't, sure? you, don't you dare. Some of you might remember that a couple of weeks ago, I had a problem with this piece of furniture. I tried to stain it and it didn't turn out as I wanted it to turn out. Because there's some uh, solvent in the lacquer, the lacquer diluted the stain and the way I applied the stain wasn't correct. I applied it in two layers, I should have done it in one layer. And when there is too much stain, you wipe it off with a cloth which admittedly a lot of people told me in the comments. But when you said it to me, I was done already. There's two ways to deal with this now. And I have two weapons, a sander, paint remover, decap 600. Benoit, our carpenter bought it when he saw what I did to his furniture. Uh, he learned that you can also dissolve bodies with this. So I will start trying to use some sandpaper. 40 grit, very powerful. <laughs> It does work, but it um, makes it a bit rough and I need to sand it with a finer grit sandpaper later. Now let's try the chemical procedure and see how that works. You see, you see these signs? It says danger. If I see these signs, I don't even read it. It makes me too scared. I don't know what this is supposed to do. But... It going? Good. I think it's, um, it doesn't do anything though. Oh. <laughs> um, but the sanding, look, I tried to sand it and that, that works rather well. So. Oh yes, that looks, that looks pretty good. I, I just wait for you to see how bad a job I do and then you take over. Ah, that's your strategy. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I mean, Isn't... what is it supposed to do? It's just melt the... it away or something? Yeah. It just wait 15 minutes and then it should melt away. That's made to take varnish and, and everything off basically. Maybe it's not a good decapon. Oh. You can see it's starting mm -hmm. to lift up here. Okay, there's definitely a layer that comes off. It's just a layer. It's not like, it takes off the varnish, but there's obviously still a stain underneath, so it's only half, half the job done. Do I enjoy doing this? No. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, I showed to you the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Look at this object, look how smooth it is. It's perfect. This is a computer used for editing, but a computer lying flat like this uses up a lot of space. So I went online to see if I can buy a computer stand to make it stand up right. I found them, but they're ugly and expensive. And I remembered, maybe I can make my own. So I went on Maker World, I typed in MacBook Pro stand. This is my favorite one and I'm gonna send it now to the printer. Up to now, I used these colorful filaments and my daughters loved it for all kinds of projects. But being an incredibly manly man myself, I wanted something more manly on my desk. And what is more manly than mouse gray? <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful piece, it's finished. It took about an hour, a bit more than an hour, but I think it was worth it. If and only if it fits. <laughs> That's perfect. And now my desk is clean. Almost. I'm gonna take over, I think, from now. Why? Anything to do with a paintbrush should be left to me. You Maybe. don't trust me with the staining. I, I also a bit nervous myself. I don't want to do it and then it's messed up and then it's obviously my fault. Well, and then if we have you, to do it again. If you mess it up, uh, I'm not going to send it another time. Let's, no, let's then, put it that way. 
if I mess it up, I have to send it. All right. But I need you to explain to me, because you went to Paris to the shop, and yes, you have all it. of these things, but I don't know what they're for. So first we put the stain on, and the stain, he said, put it on in one layer, not in two. And you got a different color, right? A and darker it's a darker color. It's color venge. And he said, the stain, you put it on, you can use a brush, but you put it on like this. Immediately after, before it's completely dry, you use... What is it? Let's have a look. Some, some fiber cloth. cloth. It looks like some Halloween decoration. Yeah. You wipe the excess off. Probably not completely because otherwise... And if it's not dark enough, can we do a second layer? Then you sand it again. Once everything is stained, you use the fondue, and that's the problem, that's what we didn't use the first time. This fixes the stain onto the wood before you apply the lacquer. Fingers crossed then. Fingers wish, crossed. Wish Fingers crossed is the luck. last time. I wish you luck. I'm going to do a test on this this one first. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Wow, that's nice and dark. It's definitely more brown than black, but... Don't do that. It's no... Yeah, that. Have we got enough? Have you got extra? Well, we have this big bottle. It does look nice. I do like it. Maybe you do too... Maybe I'm too vigorous. Too fire, yeah. Make sure you do the edges. Don't, don't waste it in here because it's gonna... Ah, is that gonna be covered? Going oh, covered. okay, yeah, sorry. Just need the All right. outer part. Now you need to wipe, gently wipe off the gently excess. Gently wipe, okay. You ready? Yeah. No, 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 that's, I think that's too, you, you just the excess, don't wipe ah. the thing off. Yeah. Dab it? Did he yeah, say I dab it so. or rub it? I don't know, I don't remember. Why don't you call him and ask him? No, no, it's fine, that's good. That, that looks exactly right. Says he, who is the expert. Yeah. I'm super happy with that. I think that looks so much better, right? Absolutely. Ooh. Now that looks nice. Get enough, get enough uh, thing on. You don't want to be too dry. Too dry, no. Yeah. Delicate touch. Delicate touch, yeah. You see, with my with my supervision and my instructions, you're doing a good job. Thank goodness you're here. Uh oh, it's not going in. Why is it not going in? And I wouldn't do too much. I, I think you need now to work on the excess. Oh, ah, yeah? Excess off, because if you do the whole thing. Not up there. Yeah, I just want to, I can do it if I want. I think I was much faster than you. It's not about speed, it's about doing it well, Philip. <laughs> Feels like it's resisting a bit the stain on this side. Now my stain has dried and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I don't know what you think, Philip. Me too, I'm super pleased. That's exactly how I imagined it to be. Actually, it's better than I imagined it to be. But we haven't yet finished because now I need to do the fondue, which is going to hopefully fix the stain. I've read the instructions, unlike you, and it says that I use this mesh to apply it in the same grain as the wood, and then I leave it to dry 10 to 15 minutes and then I use this wire wool, which is very fine, because I think the pores of the wood will sort of come up and it will become a bit rough. So just use this just to lightly sand it and hopefully none of the color is gonna come off. I'm a little nervous because it looks nice like this. I hope it's gonna be fine, but these are the products which are compatible. Then it will be varnishing, so we're almost there. Giving it a little bit of a mix before.
and he said just put it once, don't, you know, okay. don't insist because otherwise okay. you wipe off the... Yeah. When it comes to 3D printing, until now I focused on practical things like my wonderful computer stand. But today I want to try something else because I found on the Maker's World page function that allows you to create your own vase or any other object that is vase shaped. And I think it's an amazing thing. And then you just have these different layers of diameters. And you just create your shape like this. I think I like this one. Let's print it. I have an orange translucent filament. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Just like the color of this. Amazing. Honestly, I was never so excited to see this printer operating. I can't wait for the result. Will it be a masterpiece or will it be a fail? We'll see in a couple of hours. I hope I managed to show you how useful and easy it is to use a 3D printer nowadays. So if you think you want one of these machines, and I think you should have one of these, don't miss out on Bamboo Labs Best Deals, October 21st till December 3rd. I'm gonna put a link in the description to Bamboo Labs early Black Friday deals to get the best deals of the year. I am beyond excited because I heard the 3D printer beeping, which means the vase is finished. And there it is, a masterpiece, a work of art. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? I need to try this out now, I need to find some flowers and I need to show it to Anna. Orange flowers here. Look at this, look at this my flower arrangement. Isn't it genius? These flowers were the missing touch of color that this kitchen needed. I can't wait to show it to Anna. Anna? Yeah? Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Well, what can I say? What, what do you think? Um, honestly, well, I'm impressed that you made a vase. 10 out of 10 for design and, you know, construction. Yes. I just have a problem with the color. What's wrong with the color? It's orange. It's the color of happiness. It's the color of happiness and KTM motorbikes. It's, it's fluorescent. If we actually take it out, you could be forgiven for thinking that you just made some kind of Halloween decoration. It's not a Halloween, it's a vase. It's a, it's a work of art, Anna. I mean, it really is a work of art. I mean, it's incredible. That it that... is incredible, isn't it? And then maybe we give this to the kids so they can no, collect candy. No, 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 no. They this can collect no. sweets, bonbons for Halloween with it. It stays in the kitchen forever. We always said we needed to bring a touch of orange into the kitchen to match. That's exactly what you said. And here it is, the touch of orange. It's just a little bit too bright. Okay, I get another orange. But 10 out of 10 for... Engineering. Yeah, I'm impressed. You designed that. You did. Philip, what do you... That's not... <laughs> what? What's wrong? This is like... There's no stem. That's going to die in two seconds. It's... Anyways, I'm really addicted to this printer now. So Bamboo Lab, if you want to continue sponsoring our videos, I want to try many, many other projects now. Good. And, and how is it going upstairs? Uh, it's going. It's... It's so finished? It's slow. It's slow. Why is it slow? Because there's so many layers to do. Yeah, I want to see... I want to see how it is. So I've now left this to dry. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to try using a bit of this fine wire wool. So I'm going to rub down the wood very lightly and then I will apply this again. But yeah, I'm a bit worried because I think where I applied too much of it, it's a little bit sticking on top. Hopefully with this, I can get rid of all of that shininess. So I've just finished wire wooling the whole thing. And yeah, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got this very white cloudy look now. Apparently that's completely normal in between when you sand it with the wire wool. Fingers crossed, now that I'm applying the second coat of uh, this fondue, hopefully it will go really nice again. I see you're making progress, Anna. Getting there. Yeah, it looks fantastic. <sighs> I'm extremely happy. Fantastic, it looks so even, and now whatever the, the, the varnish will be, it will not affect the stain underneath. Now we need to decide on a color for the, for the handles. Yeah. Some other aged metal could be nice. Yeah, some sort of silver, dark silver, or 
Yeah. No, I don't know. Because we've got silver taps, but ever since ever quite bright silver. Yeah. I think it needs to look a bit aged. I've realised the trick is not to put too much on, because I think last time I might have... Well, don't forget, there's going to be at least two to three layers of varnish, varnish on yeah. top of this. It's a never-ending... Project. Project. While still working on this, I'm going to work on a project where talent, taste and experience are more important than just patience. And that's putting on handles on these cupboards. You may remember that this summer we met Carl and Christina in Sweden and we went shopping with them to this incredible hardware shop and we spotted these beautiful Swedish handles. Unfortunately, they didn't have any in stock, but Christina and Carl went to the shop and they bought some for us and packaged them so beautifully. Look. What do you think, Zix? Is there something in here for you? Oh. Wow. Oh, oh excellent. they're beautiful. They are, they're, they're quite shiny right now, but because they're not varnished, like, just like our kitchen handles, they will um, age well. Yeah, I've just spotted there was an extra package, and if we're lucky, these are some beautiful screws to go with them. Aha! It is screws, so we can do it. Yes. Leton brass screws, they're really, really fragile always, so I'm going to pre-drill a little bit. I measured, and I came to the conclusion that it needs to be here, exactly here. Is that by eye? No, I, I... A fillet measurement. It's by two eyes. Yeah? If, if they are too straight, it, it looks new. It doesn't look like a historic building anymore. So that's why you need to do it by eye. Okay. Like they would have done in the olden days, is that like what you're they, saying? Exactly, because they didn't have measuring tapes then. <laughs> Philip, it doesn't look straight. No, 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 it is straight. Well, it's not straight, look. No, Look, it's because it's, it's, not, it's not really finished. Yeah, but it's... Look, can you it's make there, it straight as you screw it in then, please? Yeah. Are you doing it the old-fashioned way now? Yeah. That looks good. That looks fantastic. Okay, but from now on, Philip, you have to measure the others. No, 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 no. No, I'll show you. I'll show you a trick. Okay, what's your trick? Something straight. Ideally, it would be a... Thing that will give you the... Is it straight? Yeah. How do you know that that's straight? How do I know it? I see it. Are they straight? They are perfectly straight. Are you sure? Yes. Strange as these are not the same width. Mm -hmm. You see? It is exactly the same height. It says it here. 20, 21. Yeah. Screws. A scalpel. And increase the oxygen, please. I like that idea of everywhere you go, you pick up something from yeah. the, the country that you've been to. Yeah. Whether it's like a vase or a painting. Yeah. And here we have handles. Yeah. I did, I did the same when I went to England. I you found, picked me up. I found a wife. Except you actually met me in Paris, so that's not technically true. I'm so impressed to see you using a ruler. Yeah. Like the perfectionist wants all the screws pointing in the same direction. Okay. The perfectionist in me. Perfectionist that we don't see very often. Yeah. I'm just turning the screws so they all point upwards. Ah. You see? Yeah, I like Make, that. Makes all the difference. Yeah, it does. I need to be careful. I don't want to screw this up. Good. Well done. <sighs> Well, we had bought enough handles for the other side of the room, but we just had a realisation, didn't we? We don't really need them there. Well, we've got these old locks. Yeah, and I like them. It would I... be a pity to get rid of them. You happy with that? I'm very happy. Me too. I think they look really good. Fantastic. Good size, good everything. It's a pity they're not more like regular. They're all a bit over the place, but that's, I think, because the doors are wonky. Is that Benoit and Vincent's fault? Probably. If you hold them. It feels super nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just need some mechanism to keep it in there. So magnets or something. Yeah. But it feels really, really good. Oh, look at this. We also still need some hanging rails. Yeah.
I'm really happy with the color, Anna. Yeah, me too. I think it's looking good. I mean, this is only the fondue. I haven't varnished it yet. And I think the actual final varnish finish is a bit more matte than this. So it doesn't give the exact aspect that it's going to have when it's finished. Well, but it won't have that shine. That it won't shine. have this shine, but the yes. color is good. I'm really happy with the color. It's perfect. Yeah. Great. Just ignore the splatters of stain that also went on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but they're going to be covered, obviously. Yeah, I think it works really nice. The, the two colors work really well together. Will we finish this furniture next week? Will we ever finish this furniture? That's the question. 